Hello, we, we bought today from the flea market a uh, maybe broken steam generator um, iron. And we don't know if it if it's working or not. So the best thing we can do is to try it out. Now we're gonna try it out. We'll plug it in. What is the brand? FIF. Have you heard of that brand before? No? I haven't. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, let's see what happens if we press the button and the light comes up. Lovely, that means it might be working. Or maybe not. I can't see. Let's see. Yeah, it lights up. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna do. This is the condition of the iron on the bottom. I was thinking to make a video of how I'm fixing it, but if it's working, uh, there will be no video of fixing it. Maybe it's leaking. I have seen some of them leak. So top it up with water, I will uh, I'll turn it on, okay, I'll put this thing on, then this thing, where is the minimum, that's the maximum, put it to the maximum, I will stop the video and uh, Wait for 10 minutes to see if it's going to build up pressure. So what happened now after 10-15 uh, minutes is that uh, the, um, the iron, it's working, it's heating up on the bottom. But um, the steam doesn't come, doesn't come out. So, we either have a valve that's stuck or we have an element that's burned so what i'll do i'll take apart the bottom i'll stop it now so everything gets uh, colder and i'll dismantle the bottom part of the steam generator and we'll see what's gonna happen after i can actually feel how the whole bottom part of the machine is uh, warmed up which means that the heat the the, the heater inside the power generator the the steam generator is working but i can't hear there is a valve inside i think or in here you can hear the button clicking but usually you can hear inside as well. And we can't hear nothing. So I might take apart the iron or the button or the, the bottom. But I will switch it off. I will let it cool down for a second. Have a coffee and we'll come to it later. Okay, so I let it uh, cool down a little bit. Uh, I definitely know that there is pressure because when I undo it very gently, you have to be very careful. You can see that it's building up pressure. So, this part is working. That's good because that's the, exp the expensive part. Uh, I don't know, somewhere something, it's stuck and I'm not sure where and what i know that there is a valve so the steam comes to the one one there is two cables inside one is a pipe actually so the cable for the power comes to the to come to the to the iron and um, gives power to the to the iron for uh, 
to heat it up and the other one is a pipe so there is a switch here this switch this switch is controlling uh, i think a valve inside the steam generator that lets the power goes to go in to go through the through the pipe and come through the iron so somewhere something is stuck or broken or uh or dead i'll switch it off first okay and i don't know should i disassemble this part or this part but i think it will be easier to disassemble this one this one here let's quicken it up Very lucky that I have the Allen key. I was thinking I don't have one. Okay, let's see what we got in here. We got one cable. That's the that's the pipe for the steam that goes that goes to the to the bottom. This is the cable for the power. Okay, so we got the cable for the power and then the power going out. Uh, from what I can see here, no cables are going back no cables are going back to the bottom so so there isn't a cable that um, regulating a valve because i had another steam iron whatever it's called yeah um that had a cable that was going back to the bottom so let's see what we got here <laughs> I wonder if we have if we have a steam coming out of here. How we can check? Maybe if I take if I take all of the water out. Uh, what I can do? Where is this thing going? What is this? Let's see. Oh, that's the light. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the light. I just wonder. Can you can you make it from here like that? There you go. Um, I just wonder how do we take it apart? There is a nut. There is a nut. Okay, I'll stop the video for a second so I can take uh, can take the right tool. 
Okay, decided that I'm not gonna deal with the nut on the back. I just want to dismantle this part here. And I'm not sure really how, but I'll manage it somehow. Hmm. You can see, can you, can you make the, can you point it here? It looks like if I pry it up, it's your, is it thick enough or maybe not? Stop the video and I'll find the right tool. Okay, I don't have the right tool, but East Europeans always have the right tool. There is actually a, a screw right in here. Very strange. What is on the bottom? Why doesn't want to come out? <laughs> okay, not funny. <laughs> Let's see. So we can see the switch right in here. That's a switch. Now let's see if it's actually working. Um, stop the video. I'll take a multimeter. Okay, we will need to see if it's working. Uh, beeping. We need some beeping. Okay. So the switch is good. Nothing wrong with the switch. Okay. It works perfectly fine. Now, let's put it back together and we'll look further for the fault. But still, where is this thing going? So from here, red cables, red cables, one. Ah, so there is actually a cable that goes back. There is actually a cable that goes back to the bottom. Okay, so everything inside the iron is okay. It might be something stuck inside the pipe here, uh, but I don't think so, because if you look on the bottom, you can't see a lot of deposits inside this little 
openings where the steam is coming out so the problem is not here problem is there is a valve inside here inside the bottom so that's where the problem is it's inside the bottom okay at least i didn't manage to break it that's hell can you see how easy it is <laughs> oh never mind okay okay let's put it back together does it work yes Well, you can know everything. And the uh, black one here. 